Hello there. Once again, it's Anton from Anton Bay. Thank you for stopping by the collection room today. Um, I got a figure. Uh, today we're looking at a Princess Leia Organa from Yavin 4, uh, the Star Wars Black Series. Uh, if you guys know me, I'm, I'm really out of Star Wars these days. I just don't care, but uh, I do still love me some original Carrie Fisher. And this bad boy was at Ross for $4.99, so how could I resist? Um, this is this is not the best uh, Princess Leia outfit or design, but it is. You well, know, like I said, it's Princess Leia. This is later Black Series stuff. So they got the better uh, facial scans and stuff like that. Um, I think that's all that's in the box. Get the little bubble here, and yeah, four ninety nine, comparable to twenty dollars. Crazy, crazy dirt cheap. I just saw it and I was like, eh, you know what? I better grab that. I'll be sad if I don't grab it. So we'll pop her out of here. She does have a cloth dress, uh, cloth goods dress. It is, oh, this is cloth as well. This wrap, I don't know what the deal is with the, her hair. I don't remember the hairdo, I guess, at the end. But it is a big uh, rolled up cake looking thing on there um looks like we get single jointed elbows which is good i'm not wild about double jointed elbows on uh slender female arms i just i don't think it's necessary um the cut of this dress is extremely unflattering um yeah I, i'm not wild about that i don't remember how it looked in the movie but i don't remember it looking quite that unflattering um, she has a ball joint at the shoulders that rotates, so that's good. Uh, the facial scan or whatever they did, I really like, actually. It looks very good. Very, very pleased with that. The necklace is firm in place. It's not free-floating or anything like that. The arms are good. Uh, it does feel like she has a uh, mild crunch. I was going to say it was just a rotation, but I don't think it is. I think it's that. Uh, she does have a trigger finger, but she comes with no... Uh, no gun. She just comes with what I'm assuming to be Chewbacca's medal uh, because the other guys had theirs. Um, what do we got going on under here? We've got um, some sort of heels which you don't normally see her in. They're not high so she should be able to stand. Um, it does feel like a it's not a rotation but this this cloth is tucked into it so it's hard to tell. Uh, that is a weird joint with a belt. She does have a ball joints at the hips, upper thigh cuts, which are good, double jointed knees, ankle rocker pivots at the ankles. Obviously, that's where ankle rocker pivots go. Um, it's a very slender figure and very small, like very, very petite. She just feels like a dinky in my hands compared to like some of the other six inch scale things I get. Um, yeah, even though she has like my, like little heels on, they're not normally like figures with heels are terrible to try and stand. And she might be a little bit hard to stand actually. I think once I find the right balance, yeah, she, she can stand, but yeah, any figure with heels is just more difficult to stand. You just have to distribute the weight slightly different and it can be a real pain. But, you know what, I, I would not be, I, I wouldn't be excited at it for 20 bucks. Um, I'm not excited for Star Wars anymore for 20 bucks. But uh, for, for a long time fan of Carrie Fisher and Princess Leia as a character, you know what, this gal for five bucks, uh, very happy with it. I, even though I got rid of all my other Star Wars stuff and all my Black Series figures and everything, I did keep a couple of uh, Princess Leia's. So she can go in with my Princess Leia's. And I think I'll have uh, three of them, I believe. Anyway. I do like that head sculpt. Like, they captured it well. And it's not like, I don't know, it has a vintage figure look to it. It's kind of got a plasticky but like rosy look. I, I like that a lot. Sometimes Star Wars figures, they got kind of like, the skin was too opaque and white. Like too, I don't know, 
too beige-ish colored and it just didn't look right. This looks good, especially opposed with the white. And I suppose I should have her holding on to this metal. Or if it is Chewbacca, she probably just dropped it and forgot where she put it. Uh, and that's why you didn't get one. Anyway, that is my take on that. If you can pick her up for five bucks, I definitely recommend it. If you got to pay more than that, then you better be a pretty big fan. All right, well, that's my story. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.